Hi folks and welcome to Celebrities Today. Today we will share with you the second part of the tribute video of the famous people that died during the second part of the month of July, 2021, along with their cause of death, and their short biography. Let's remember the lives of all those lost in July and celebrate their memories with you. Tom O'Connor was born on October 31, 1939, and died on 18 July, 2021. Tom was known as a comedian and game show host, best known for the show hosts Crosswits, name that tune and the Zodiac game. According to his daughter-in-law, former Olympic athlete Denise Lewis, O'Connor fought Parkinson's disease for 14 years, and his family expressed appreciation to everyone who has cared for Tom through his Parkinson's diagnosis and treatment, and of course his final days in the hospital. He died in Wexham Park Hospital in Berkshire, England. Mary Ward, the Australian actress was born on March 6, 1915, and died on July 19, 2021 in Melbourne at the age of 106. Mary Ward, a veteran Australian actress and radio broadcaster best remembered for her role as mom, in the Australian criminal thriller Prisoner, died, peacefully, at the Blue Cross Senior Care Facility in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, aged 106 her family confirmed. Lane Flack, a six-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner has died on July 19, 2021. Flack was 52 years old. At this moment, the cause of death remains unknown. Francoise Arnoul born on 3 June 1931, died on 20 July 2021 at the age of 90 in Paris, France. Françoise Arnoul, born in Algeria in 1931, landed her first role in Willy Rosier's Les Pave. She became known as a sex symbol after appearing in films such as The Companions of the Night, Body Rage, Secrets of Alcove, and The Forbidden Fruit. The true glory will be known to her thanks to the 1954 film French Can Can, in which she plays Nini. Greg Knapp, born on March 5, 1963, died on July 22, 2021 at the age of 58 following a bicycle crash. The Knapp family confirmed the death of New York Jets assistant coach Gregory Fishbeck Knapp, nicknamed Knapper, five days after he was involved in a bicycle accident. He was 58 years old. According to the San Ramon Police Department, Knapp collided with a single driver on Saturday in San Ramon, California. Knapp coached in the NFL for almost 25 years, beginning with the San Francisco 49ers as the team's offensive quality control coach in 1995. John Cornell, born on March 2, 1941, died on July 23, 2021 at the age of 80 after a long battle with the Parkinson disease. John Cornell was a producer, director and scriptwriter, and was a significant early contributor to the Australian film industry. Australia's first feature-length film, The Story of the Kelly Gang, 1906, was made by him. The legendary comedian Jackie Mason was born on June 9, 1928 and died on July 24, 2021 at the age of 93. His accolades include 21 Grammy nominations, two American Comedy Awards, and a listing in Guinness's world records for achieving the longest career as a stand-up comedian. He is also an actor and has appeared in nearly 150 films and television shows. His most famous films include A Beautiful Mind alongside actress Jennifer Connelly and Russell Crowe, as well as License to Wed with Mandy Moore. Bob Moses, born on January 31, 1935, died on July 25, 2021 at the age of 86. Bob was an American civil rights activist best known for his longtime leadership of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Moses's cause of death was unknown. The American film and TV actor, Rick Aiello, born on September 21, 1995, has died on July 26, 2021 at the age of 65. Rick died after following a lengthy battle with pancreatic cancer. Dusty Hill, the legendary ZZ Top bassist and vocalist, was born on May 19, 1949 and has died on July 27, 2021, at the age of 72. The cause of Dusty Hill's death has not been revealed, but it could be related to the fact that he was diagnosed with hepatitis C in 2000, 
which caused him to retire from the tour and miss two years of the band's and tour's existence. Ron Popeil, the pioneering TV pitchman, inventor, and founder of company Ronco, Ron Popeil was born on May 3, 1935, and has died on July 28, of 2021, at the age of 86. Ronald Martin Popeil, the king of infomercials and inventor, died suddenly at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, where he had been admitted a day earlier for a medical emergency, according to Popeil representative Eric Ortner. The cause of death has not yet been determined. Ron Popeil founded the direct response marketing firm, Ronco.